Hi, I'm JJ Barnes and you are watching another episode of Creative Writing for Kids. So today I'm going to be talking to you about something called backstory. Now backstory is the history of your character before you started writing them. Because if you think about the life of your character, you join them at a certain point. You join them to watch them on a story. And it's them going for something they want, having an adventure, a quest, something like that, where you are joining them for a section of their life. But their entire life happened before you got there too. So they've existed. They only existed in your head. They aren't real people in the world, but they are people who you are joining, which means they were people before your story began. And their backstory is that. It's the events that happened before you got there. So for most of your story, their history, their backstory, it's not too important because you're following them now. You're not giving your readers a history of that person because that's not what they're there for. What they're there for is now and what is happening right now. So you don't want to spend a long time giving your readers, you know, the history of birth to this point in, your, in their life for your story because that's, that's not what they want. However, your history who you are as a person now, they are connected. You wouldn't be who you are now if you hadn't got your history, your backstory. So the same is true for your characters. If you think about it, if you have had a parent die, that changes you. If you were bullied, that changes you. If you grew up with lots of brothers and sisters, it shapes your personality. If you grew up as an only child, it shapes your personality. If you've moved house a lot of times, if you lived in a foreign country before you came here, everything that happened to you affects the person you are. And it might not be the only thing and you have your own personality, but your history and your experiences come together to form the complete you. So that's true of your characters as well. I'm going to give you an example of how this is done really well in a story and I'll tell you how to do it too. So in the film Moana, if you think about Moana's dad, he's very protective of Moana. He doesn't want her going out in the ocean. He's almost paranoid. He's fearful of the water in a way that Moana isn't. And it might not make sense if it hadn't been part of the backstory because he lives on an island. He's surrounded by water. They fish in the ocean. It would be natural for boats and exploring the water to be part of that life. But clearly for Moana's dad, it isn't. And that could just be left as it is because it means that Moana has this extra adventure factor, it's conflict on screen, and you know, it's interesting and that's fine. But the backstory is what takes just part of that personality and makes it real. So you learn that his best friend died at sea and that when he became fearful of the ocean because he was scared that somebody else he loves will die at sea. And that's his backstory. And you don't spend loads of history dwelling on it. You're not following him just, you know, shown birth to now in Moana's dad's life because that's not important. What's important is that piece of his backstory that shapes how he reacts during your story. And that should be true of your characters too. Say you've had a character who was bullied. It means that when someone is being mean or picked on, they react differently to someone who was never bullied. And you don't have to go into lots of detail but it makes sure your characters are different and unique, which is important. And it also means that you can explain who they are and why with just little pieces of their history. So that's what you should try and do. Don't overwhelm your story with character backstory, but give your characters a history because they have one, we all do. We've all had good and bad in our lives and we've all had different experiences to everybody else. And it shapes part of who we are. And remember that with your characters, it makes them more human makes them more interesting and you can do things with their personalities that are demonstrated that demonstrate their backstory and it's really interesting thank you very much for watching um don't forget to subscribe to this video and come and find me on facebook the page is creative writing for kids with jj barnes i also have a whole page on my website where i'm putting all the details there's a link to the pinterest board where there's loads of more activities and a contact form so if you want to come and talk to me and tell me what you're doing and ask me any questions you can thank you very much for watching i will be back again soon and yeah thanks bye